One of my influences that goes back to my days in Philadelphia I came from my grandfather, Alan Freelon Sr., who was a painter during the Harlem Renaissance period. And I remember being encouraged and intrigued about art and the visual arts in particular. I really began to understand myself as an architect through studies and at NC State at the College of Design. It really did give me the, um, the confidence to know that, that I could excel in this field by being in that environment and doing very well while I was there. I made some choices in my career about the kinds of buildings that, that I would want to pursue and I would want to design. And so that includes things like schools and, and college university projects, public sector work like the Durham County Human Services Complex, museums and libraries. Why? Because they enhance the communities that they're in. There's a connection to education and health. Now, one of the interesting stories about this building when it first opened is uh, there was a woman who came in and she wanted to know uh, where the human services facility was. And she had found the museum, but wanted to say, well, wh where is the, the actual health and human services complex? And she thought she was in a different sort of building. And that was a compliment to us because it said that, you know, we had created a place of beauty and, and one that really had a resonance with folks, uh, everyday people who would come into the space and feel very uplifted by it. These structures we design ought to, in our minds, tell a story, uh, and they ought to be able to convey the vision and mission of the institution or, or the client that, that you're working with. We believe that it's not enough to simply put a, a beautiful wrapper around a gallery or around a library or around a, a public building or educational facility. Anyone can do that, you know, make a pretty box. But we want the building to contribute in some way to the, um, to the idea and the vision of that client or that institution.